Let me show you a super easy way to share your iPad or iPhone screen during your live stream. I'm Sarah Nguyen and on this channel, I help you grow your business using video on social media with ease. And in this live stream tutorial, I'm going to walk you through two super simple ways to share your iPad, iPhone or any other mobile device screen while you're live streaming. The live stream software that I'm using today is Restream and they're an incredibly robust and painless live stream platform. I've been using them for a couple of years now and they've got free and paid plans. You can use the link in the description if you'd like to try them out and get a $10 credit when you sign up. Livestream Live Studio allows you to live stream from your web browser, so it doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC. You also don't need a souped up computer unlike some other live stream software providers. Let's go over to my computer now and I'll walk you through sharing your iPad and mobile devices in Restream. To get started with sharing your iPad to your Mac device, you will need to connect your iPad and your Mac computer together using the actual cable. Once you've done this, you should see a message on your mobile device asking you to trust the computer. The message that you'll see is on the screen now and you need to select the trust button and then you need to enter your password. Once you've done this, if you've done this correctly and it's worked, you should be able to open up Apple Music and then you'll see your devices displayed in the devices section on the left hand side here. If this doesn't work, try to unplug it and replug it. And I find that if you do this, it will typically show after this. Then from QuickTime, go to File and New Movie Recording. And now once you open up QuickTime, you'll be able to see the content of your actual iPad, iPhone device through QuickTime. So if I was to open up an app, I would simply select it. And as I use the iPad, you can see what's happening on it on the screen. So now how do you add this to Restream? With QuickTime still open, you would go back to the Restream Studio. Within Restream's Live Studio, you would select the screen share option. So I'm going to click on that now. And then I would go to Window. From here, I can see the movie recording, which is QuickTime. I would select that and select share. And then this has added it to the actual live stream. So as I engage with the actual iPad, I can see everything that's happening on the actual live stream as well. And so can my viewers. So this is a great way of creating content, adding some engagement and visual dynamic to the live stream, which is really, really easy using QuickTime, which comes free with your Mac device. If you're a PC user or if you're a Mac user and you can't get the QuickTime time hack that I showed you to work, the second option that you have to share your actual mobile devices is to use an app that I actually love, which is Reflector 4. So to get this working, you would need to be on the same Wi-Fi network for both the mobile device and the computer that you're live streaming from. Once you're on the same Wi-Fi network, on an iPhone, you would swipe from the top right hand corner down and then you would enable screen mirroring. And then what you want to do is you want to select your computer, which should be displaying here to connect to your actual device. Once you've done that, you'll be able to enter the on-screen code into your actual mobile device. Now the content of my mobile device is currently broadcasting on my actual computer. And you can see that as I'm interacting with my mobile device, it's currently sharing it to my desktop computer. Now to add it all into Restream, what you want to do is back in the Restream Live Studio, select screen share. And this time you want to ensure the entire screen that has your mobile device currently casting to it. So I'm going to select that screen and I'm going to select share. 
and now it's added it to the actual live stream. So as I interact, as you can see here, it's broadcasting it to the actual live stream and I can continue to use this to actually engage with people and do demonstrations. You can also see that there is already a iPhone frame around the actual device and this was added by the app itself. So you get a beautiful display of your mobile device without needing to add any additional overlays to display the device. If you found this video useful, hit the like button for me and let me know in the comments section below, what other live stream tutorials would you like to learn about? I'd love to make these videos for you. And in the meantime, why don't you either check out my handy dandy restream playlist or grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple way to get up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. Check them out by clicking on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.